Uh, thank you so much to uh, Michael and uh, to Bureau Good for having us out. Um, and obviously, they can come to Music Fest. Uh, we love being here. We played in our old band 20 something years ago, one of the very first Bluefish uh, concerts that became one of the Music Fest. So it's always fun to be back. Uh, we are the Harper Valley Hypocrites. If you like what you hear, you can find us online at Harper Valley Hip. That's at Harper Valley HIP. Uh, and everything you hear this evening uh, is on. I'm going to cut that back. Uh, everything is on our new album, American Acoustic Music. It's available on our band camp. It's harpervalleyhypocrites.bandcamp.com. But if you just Google Harper Valley Hypocrites, there are only two things that come up. One, the song Harper Valley PTA, obviously. And two, it's us. Good? Well, I'm a stranger here. Stranger here. And I shit my shit feeling anywhere. I'm a stranger here. I'm the I pick my team of doctors, sailors, and other spies. But we got caught that way in under guns. By a bird of prey with the bill to pay out and smuggle in a run. But I'm a stranger here. Stranger here. And I shit my shape to bend anywhere. Stranger here, stranger here, and I shit my shit to fit in anywhere. Well, people like me, well, a few ain't far between. I met some once when I was down in the dumps on the big machine. But maybe I stay here, maybe I move on, maybe I shit my shape to the great big snake just to scare someone. Stranger here, stranger there, and I shake my shape to fit anywhere. And I'm a stranger here, stranger there, and I shake my shape to fit anywhere. All right, now. told me recently uh, that I write songs about uh, people we, people you know or people you used to be. Uh, maybe that's true. I think this is maybe a little bit of both. This song's called uh, Freddy Fender and it's about uh, Mary Swap Me. Well, here's all the strongest senders. Coyote O'Keefe's and Freddy Fenders the Kings and Queens of Concert Tapers And the Crock Hollers and Canton Traders Here's all the open drum tracks The bark patches on your backpack Bad decisions in the days you made And then the first time I heard Iron Maid Road away allegory, matters not the territory. Memory is far from perfect. The sacrifice is hardly worth it. So 
here's all the piled up papers, the booster ovens and coffee makers, every dead end road we follow, and the coin cell batteries I think I swallow. Here's all the t-shirt vendors, the day remainers and the Howard's enders, the regulars and bingo fakers, and the cheater pipes and the quick stop skaters. So roll away and it goes, the map is not the territory, my memory is far from perfect. Sacrifice was almost worth it. Here's all the keyboard warriors, the desk jockeys, and the office lawyers, sports books and break room lockers. Everyone I thought could be a secret shopper. Most of all, here's to my granddad who put up with more shit than I ever could have. A freezer smoking pontificator and a swiper of blood bank refrigerators. Hey, thank you so much. Uh, a certain amount of that is true, uh, and as we go through uh, tonight's songs, I'll say yes, true or false, because uh, a lot of the things that sound like, oh, that must have really happened to Mason. Not, nah, man, that shit didn't happen. I made that up. Uh, but uh, my granddad was, in fact, uh, in the late 80s, the... Uh, Head of maintenance at Presbyterian Hospital, which no longer exists, obviously. So I think the statute of limitations is up on the fact that he did uh, condemn a blood bank refrigerator, and then it was his beer fridge in the garage, like basically till the day he died. So I really thought I tried to think, justify a reason to keep it, but like you know, what, I didn't need it. Um, so yeah, that that was at least a little bit true. So I. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, I took about 10 years off of playing music and really just got back into it in the last couple of years with my dad and brother. Uh, and while I don't to any degree think that I like, oh man, like I wrote some songs about the pandemic, you know, like, wow, well, things got really heavy and so well. Like I, I, I wrote some songs about all, all the things that we were all thinking and feeling over the last couple of years. Uh, but to a certain degree, that is actually true, I suppose. Uh, and this song uh, is uh, sort of about that. Uh, this song's called The Bad Year. Um, and I, I've played this before, uh, and the, the person who it was maybe a little bit about was like, oh, wow, that was about this other person that we also know, isn't it? And I was like, no, man, this song's about you. Like, you can't, you can't tell? Okay, well, it's about you. Um, so uh, uh, if you see yourself a little bit in this, um, that person's not here, so I promise it's not you. Uh, but uh, I hope you recognize yourself in it at least a little bit. Uh, in fairness, uh, when you're... Uh, Banjo player uh, has a bunch of uh, goofy tunes that he does. You kind of just have to kill time between songs, which is what I'm doing right now. Um, are, you, are you done, though? Are you good? Hey, he's good. This tune is also on the, the album. Uh, it's called The Bad Year. Yeah. 
something and you think of this good idea and then boy it just like pours out of you man and you're like yeah this is great and it, it all just kind of like dumps out of you in, in a couple of minutes sitting around playing guitar uh, and then sometimes you carry a song around for literally uh, the better part of 20 years uh, I wrote this opening line down in an old notebook uh, probably circa uh, 2002 uh, when I was working at uh, uh, Direct TV uh, of course uh, this guy who I knew, knew and liked, uh, Brent Rohde, if anybody knows Brent, say hey to him for me, uh, was going through a really bitter and acrimonious divorce, and I saw him in the hall one day, and I said, hey man, uh, you know, how's it going, Brent? You feeling, you feeling okay these days? And he was like, man, you know, I actually feel a lot better. Uh, once I learned to stop feeling, I started feeling pretty good. Uh, and I was like, oh, that's the most depressing thing I've ever heard in my life, man. So I wrote it down, and then uh, 20 years later, I made a song happen. The song's called uh, uh, Give Up Now. When I learn, when I learn to stop feeling, is when I started feeling good. Let myself stop caring, I realized that I never should. Sick and tired of staying up all night, but never keeping up this fight. I used to think I had to get it right, but it feels so much better. myself so give it all I've got a drop of water and an ocean thinking the half of the sands was love but I stopped trying to be someone so now I don't give a fuck sick and tired of staying up all night I'm bored of death and keeping up this fight you beg me to try to get it right but it feels so bored
Yeah, you know, one, one of the things really when you come to see the Harper Valley Hypocrites uh, is you come to get uh, inspired and to feel better about yourself when you leave. Uh, and so if that didn't happen, uh, sorry, I guess. <laughs> um, so this next one is uh, genuinely fairly autobiographical. Um, it's a tune called Kubota. Um, it's a little bit about him, a little bit about me, a little bit uh, a, mix, uh, a, a mix together of some other people who are no longer with us. Uh, and one of the most annoying things you can do to your banjo player is put things in weird flat keys, um, which is what I've done to my father uh, as retribution uh, for the abuse I suffered as a child. Uh, if you're just joining us, we're the Harper Valley Hypocrites. I'm Mason Weaver. That's my dad, Tim Weaver. Uh, our ghost at the feast, the absent Mike, is my brother who had to work tonight. Uh, if you dig what you hear, you can check us out online at Harper Valley Hip. That's at Harper Valley H-I-P. Uh, all these songs are on our new album, uh, American Acoustic Music, out now. You good?
parts of that that are true. Uh, in college, you really did uh, live in the basement of the Baptist Student Union, uh, and they slept for uh, two full years uh, on a front door uh, that they found in the trash with a mattress on top of it. And only when they moved out did they realize that uh, it was a glass door. Uh, but I guess their weight had been evenly distributed across it enough that they hadn't ever noticed. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Uh, and uh, and all of their amps really did catch on fire once at a junior high game in like mm, 1968, something like that. Yeah. That's when they dropped the grand piano. Oh yeah, and they dropped the grand piano and broke it. So there you go. But then we traded it for Vintage Les Paul. Oh, but then I traded it for Vintage Les Paul. Sorry, my dad doesn't have mine. What's what's the end of the story? Is that it? Everybody's dead. But oh yeah, that's actually true. Everybody's dead, but uh, but him. So there you go. Uh, I mean, everybody. No, 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 like, really, like, I'm serious, like, everybody in that band's dead except for him. Which and is no like, drug overdose. Yeah, yeah, they just died. So, but anyway, that's why he's in uh, my game right now. Um, so this next tune is 100% uh, fictional, uh, but, um, about right. But um, it's one of those things where the feelings are true, even if none of the events are. If you want to slow dance, this is a chance.
Let's see. If you come see us at our regular gig, which is usually the third Thursdays uh, at OK Cider in Oklahoma City, uh, we'll play uh, about another hour of originals. So. Um, we also are there uh, first Saturdays. We do a three-hour cover show. If you'd like to come out, uh, no cover, obviously, all ages, Tasty Cider. Uh, here's another one that, uh, I don't know, I guess seems more true than it is. Um, Yeah, truth is relative. Um, these things didn't happen. Zing, that's why you didn't have a mic, folks. Um, so the things in the song didn't happen, but the way I feel about other things did. You good? I don't want to mess you up, man. Sounds good to me. Yep. This tune's called Polygraph. I picked up a couple of ships. Senior here makes some money for that trip. Chris and Jess and Josh and Sam. Going down to Dallas to see Pearl Jam. When I got sick, I couldn't go. Later Chris said it was a hell of a show. You might think that I would have been bad. But honestly, it wasn't too bad. So much that I burned myself out. I'm looking out of the parking lot. I tried to keep on while it was still hot. Ooh, and I felt a crunch and a complex steel. And I was slammed forward to the steering wheel. And that's why I. Destruction of doubt. Think I'm finally in a place to try and figure it out. I can take a polygraph. I can take a polygraph. Oh, thank you so much. That one works a little bit better with the second guitar, but whatever. I wasn't gonna relearn it. Um, oh, thank you. Uh, oh yeah. So. Um, back down into an uncapo key. When you're not a very good singer or a very good guitar player, you have to capo a lot because you only know four chords. That's not true, I know five. <laughs> yeah, sorry, 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 Mike. I apologize. Uh, let's see. To further uplift you, this song is called Nothing Changes. Yeah. 
So, uh, I don't want to run over. No, we're good. Uh, so sometimes as a songwriter, things take a really long time, uh, and you mull over them and you rewrite them over and over again. Sometimes uh, you're presented with a single snap image, uh, and you're driving in the car, and you grab the voice notes app, and you just start talking, uh, and an entire song pours out uh, fully formed. This is one of those. Uh, this song's called The Divorce. Uh, it's the only song that we do that has an intro. Kind of a joke intro, but then it stuck. This song uh, came to me fully formed, uh, driving past a guy in like uh, an F-350, super beefy, but like, you know, fat guy beefy, uh, big wraparound sunglasses, like the kind of guy that makes like really angry uh, political rant videos in his truck, uh, and then YouTubes them. Uh, this song's about that guy. Twice credit, buying knives over the telephone. Proclaimed yourself the king in yellow, declared you were above the law. Painted the back steps purple, listening to kill them all. It was the summer of the set of the ceilings, it was the summer of the separate stack. Destroyed all our rent house carpet, you're never getting that deposit back. Refuted any leftist leanings, posted on the company site. Vilified and rejected by the woman who was your wife. Prescribing yourself marijuana for the sciatica in your back. Reading your brother at Christmas for his continued panic attacks. To pay an extra for heavier relic on your custom shop SRV. Dash the water on the land your dad bought in 1973. Early the first time you said it, said that you were all alone. Looked up your ex-wife's credit, selling knives over the telephone. Heard what you said the first time I heard that you were getting divorced. And blowing your kids' tuition on a tip about a quarter horse. Light, because that's what I do, is keep it light. Um, uh, 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 there's a prize, it's not a very good prize, uh, at the end of the set, if someone can tell me correctly what I stole this guitar riff from. Uh, there are probably multiple correct answers, but in my mind there's only one. So if you're uh, an astute music lover, which I assume you are since you're here, uh, let me know, uh, just be sort of by show of hands, you just want to shout it out, uh, what I stole this from completely. And because I love to uplift uh, and make people happy, uh, this song's called Burn in Hell. Cheap was easy, if poverty was cool, 
take off if you're just joining us we are the uh harper valley hypocrites uh i'm mason weaver that's my dad tim weaver uh and i'll uh uh we gotta do a quick mandolin changeover uh so i want to get uh serious for a second because i do think i have a couple of minutes left are we good oh we're good um so uh at the beginning of the pandemic um the uh the first sort of like I don't know, celebrity death, I guess, uh, in a long time that, and we're all adults here, really fucked me up, um, is John Prine. Uh, John Prine's my favorite songwriter of all time. Um, uh, him and Z-Bong, obviously, I've still not processed that passing. Um, but, uh, the, you know, John died, um, and I just, I sat there, honestly, and like, I don't mean to get, like, maudlin about this, but I sat there and I looked at my phone, I'm sitting on the couch, I've been playing something anyway, and I just, I started fucking crying, man, because it felt like, this, this light in our world is just gone, right? There never will be any more John Prine songs than there are now, and that is like, it, that's, that's it, it devastating to me in a way that I don't know how to express other than the fact that I just wrote a fucking song about it. Um, all right, are you, are you good? Uh, so this song uh, is about John uh, and about, but well, maybe it's more about my relationship with John uh, and how I feel about him and, and the way in which he like fundamentally and irrevocably changed my life. Um, this song's called Prime Prime. We could cut back. Yeah. Like yeah, we're good. A thirteen years old birthday money burning through the pocket of my umbros I try desperately to choose from the 10,000 cassette sound warehouse wanted me to buy a name I recognize a caught me walking by while I was buying greatest hits just to get my money's worth I had a queen in ACDC a whole nausea for my third Sitting on the shelf right next to Primus and the Prince it was a tape I didn't know I needed till I left the store with it. And Prime Prime, we yeah, all learned to sing and Prime Prime. The change was a music man to me. Prime Prime, shaped the way I saw myself. Best tape on my eye shelf. Well, I taught myself to play guitar with John Pride on the beat. Through a pair of bookshelf speakers hooked up to my second CD. I figured out how to figure out songs without a book. I figured out how to finger pick without having to look. Learn to sing and cry and cry. Shake wood music man to me. Cry and cry. Shake the mess out of myself. Just the best tape on my shelf. Well, I was buying greatest hits just to get my money's worth. When I remember that old record that I knew I must have heard. Sitting on the shelf right next to Primus and the Prince Was a tape I didn't know I needed until I left the store with it Best 
tape on my shelf. Thank you so much. Uh, we got one more, uh, and then we're going to take off. Uh, thanks so much uh, to Norman Music Fest and to uh, uh, Michael and uh, uh, Big Brewing and Jim, obviously, because we sound fantastic. But we sound it. Well, sometimes I have to run sound, and well, and obviously, uh, my dear Quentin Baumgartner. Uh, hello, nice to see you. I love you. Um, sometimes nepotism works, folks. Uh, so this last tune, uh, and if you are just joining us, um, uh, you can check out our new album, uh, American Acoustic Music. Uh, it's available for free, obviously, uh, on Bandcamp, uh, harper.lipperfish.bandcamp.com. Uh, this tune is about what happens when the people that you hook back up with turn out to not be the people that you thought they might be. I guess I've always been your friend Tell myself it's you You're the one who's changed Tell myself that I Have always been this way Seven days ain't much Seven seasons long Never been a You considered how it felt I guess that I would too If I had made any myself Seven seasons late Seven years too long Guess you wanted to wait You're the one who should have Passing ships with notches on a tree. You've all got regrets, and they've all got to do with me. I pick the whip and the post. You pick the only chain. Well, I'm untouchable, and I have all. Thank you so much for the Harper Valley Hypocrites.